So let's continue and talk about the types of carbohydrates. We're going to be able to name the basic units of carbohydrates, carbohydrates to classify carbohydrates as simple or complex, to describe the types of complex carbohydrates, and to distinguish soluble fiber from insoluble fiber. So chemically, carbohydrates are a group of compounds made up of one or more sugar units that contain carbon as well as hydrogen and oxygen in the same two to one proportion found in water. Um, the carbohydrate family is broken up into two types of carbohydrates. We refer to them as simple carbohydrates and complex carbohydrates. Um, monosaccharides or single sugars are referred to as uh, simple carbohydrates and they're, they are what we commonly refer to as sugars. And the three most common monosaccharides in the diet are glucose, fructose, and galactose. And each contain uh, six carbons, 12 hydrogen, and six oxygen atoms, C6H12O6. You may have seen that um, around, but uh, these three sugars differ in the arrangement of these atoms. Uh, the first one here is glucose, often called blood sugar. It's the most important carbohydrate fuel for the human body. Um, fructose is the sweetest sugar, and um, it occurs naturally in fruits and honey. And then galactose, and that's found only in a few, few foods. Milk is the most common. So let's first talk about monosaccharides. So simple carbohydrates, again, are the mono and disaccharides. Um, glucose, fructose, and galactose are the monosaccharides that have the same formulas, but the atoms are arranged differently, and you can see that here, how they change. The first one, glucose, is the monosaccharide that cir circulates in the blood, and it's rarely found alone in food. but um, carbohydrates main function is to provide energy for the body we um, it's not really a storage form of energy it's for uh, typically immediate use that we do store a little bit of it to control uh, the amount that's floating around in our body and we'll talk about that later fructose is a monosaccharide found in fruits and vegetables it makes up about half the sugar in honey and in the high fructose corn syrup used to sweeten many foods and beverages and then uh, galactose is a monosaccharide that is part of milk sugar and um, the other type of simple carbohydrates are uh, disaccharides the most uh, Common disaccharides in our diet are maltose, sucrose, and lactose. And maltose is a building block of glucose and glucose found in barley. And sucrose is fructose and glucose found in fruits, vegetables, grains, and table sugar. That's normally what we think of when we think of table sugar is sucrose. And lactose. Um, you may have heard of that one before as well, is galactose and glucose, and it is the main carbohydrate in milk. And here's a graphic representation of common disaccharides. So malcrose, sucrose, and lactose are the disaccharides made up of different pairs of monosaccharides. So the first one, maltose, made of two glucose units uh, formed and when starch is digested, when we are breaking down larger molecules like a piece of bread and we're breaking it down to maltose. When you chew bread and hold it in your mouth, um, the slight sweet taste you experience is due to the maltose formed as the enzyme salivary amylase digests the starch present in the bread. Um, sucrose, this disaccharide is what we refer to um, as sugar and uh, it's links glucose and fructose, it's table sugar, and it's the only sweetener that can be called sugar in the ingredient list on the food label in the United States. Lactose is galactose plus glucose, and 
Um, it's produced by humans and other am, a, animals, um, cows, and it, it is um, often called milk sugar because it's found in milk as well as ice cream and any other dairy products out there. So those were the simple carbohydrates. Let's talk about the complex carbohydrates. Um, so complex carbohydrates are polysaccharides that are generally not sweet tasting in the way simple carbohydrates are. They include um, glycogen in animals and starches and fibers in plants. So poly means many, so saccharides, so polysaccharides are many monosaccharides linked together. If we just start about glycogen, um, that's the storage form of glucose in animals um, and humans. It's many glucose molecules linked together in highly branched chains. And this arrangement allows for rapid hydrolysis or use of breaking down of to use um, this for energy. And enzymes attack these branches, making uh, surges of glucose available when we need them. And glycogen is typically stored in the muscles and the liver. Polysaccharides continue, we're going to talk about starches. Starch is the, really considered the storage form of glucose in plants. That's what a starch is. Um, it's made up of glucose molecules linked together in either straight or branch change um, forms. And um, it's used for plant growth and reproduction. And when we eat plants, we consume the energy stored in starch. Fiber or cellulose is a type of complex carbohydrate that can't be broken down by human digestive enzymes. Um, so it, it's not absorbed in the small intestine, but we do process it when it passes into the large intestine. Um, and fiber includes several um, substances, but it is really the structural part of plants, um, fruits, vegetables, grains, and legumes. So fiber is typically categorized um, in, uh, as either soluble or insoluble. Soluble fiber is found around and inside plant cells. It dissolves in water to form a viscous solution. And although human enzymes can't digest soluble fiber, we have bacteria in our large intestine that break it down. Uh, Food sources of soluble fiber include barley, oats, legumes, citrus fruits. Soluble fiber is typically associated with um, being uh, good for our heart and, um, and helps protect against heart disease by lowering blood cholesterol. And it's also thought to help um, against diabetes by lowering blood glucose levels by delaying gastric emptying. We're going to talk about that. Um, so the other type of fiber is insoluble, so it's just what it says. Soluble dissolves in water. Insoluble doesn't dissolve in water. It doesn't form a gel. It's less readily fermented. Typical foods that are insoluble are whole grain, bran, and some vegetables. And insoluble fiber is, um, it primarily comes from the structural part of plants, such as the cell walls. And it typically is associated with adding bulk to our fecal matter because it passes rel relatively unchanged through the GI tract or gastrointestinal tract. And food sources, well, we talk about food sources, whole grains, and certain types of vegetables. So here's a great diagram that kind of gives you a vis visualization of all of these. So make sure you know glycogen. See the, the nice muscle there, that's the polysaccharide glycogen. It's made of highly branched chains of glucose. You can see it in that circular picture. And this um, branch structure has specific function because it allows it to be broken down quickly when the body needs glucose. Starches though, um, it's a, it, they can be either the straight chains or the um, branch chains of glucose. We consume starches um, in grain products, legumes or beans, and starchy vegetables. And then fiber, um, when we refer to complex carbohydrate, 
is mostly made of either straight or branched chains of monosaccharides, and the bonds that link these together can't be broken by human digestive enzymes. So this example is cellulose shown here um, is the broccoli fiber made up of straight chains of glucose molecules. Um, and so they're um, difficult to break down, not broken down in the small intestine, but instead broken down in the large intestine um, by bacteria. So overview of carbohydrates. Now um, this gives you a visualization, two sides, complex and simple. Complex carbohydrates are glycogen, animal storage form of carbohydrate, plant storage form of starch, and fiber comes from the structural components of plants, and there are two types, soluble and insoluble, and those, those are all referred to as complex or polysaccharides. Simple carbohydrates are two types, disaccharides and monosaccharides. Di means two, mono means one. Lactose, maltose, and sucrose are the disaccharides, and monosaccharides are galactose, glucose, and fructose. So the book talks a little bit about photosynthesis. This is the process by which plants use the sun's energy to make carbohydrates from carbon dioxide and water. And during photosynthesis, plants make uh, simple sugars from carbon dioxide and capture the sun's light energy and in the chemical bonds of those sugars. So here's an example. We have carbon dioxide and water. You add sunlight. It makes glucose and oxygen. You see the uh, glucose molecule C6H1206 plus oxygen and it's stored as starch and fiber in the plant cell walls. Um, here's a visual representation of photosynthesis as glucose is produced in plants through the process of photosynthesis, which uses energy from the sun to convert the carbon dioxide and water to glucose. Um, plants most often convert glucose to starch, and when, human eat, when humans eat plants, digestion converts the starch back to glucose.